welcome to study two. In our previous video, you were introduced with communication system. In this video, you will learn one of the important process used in communication system that is modulation. In the broad sense, the communication is the exchange of information either wired or wirelessly between two points. And this information could be voice signal, data signal or it could be broadcasting signal also. Before going to the technical details about modulation, let's just try to understand it with a simple example. Here you can see whenever we meet someone, there is no need of modulation to exchange information or more precisely to talk with that person. But when we want to talk to someone who resides far away from us, then we cannot reach out to that person without modulation. Maybe one question comes to your mind that why we cannot just transmit our voice signal without modulation. That is the thing we need to discuss here. So if we consider the speech signal or the human voice signal that has frequency up to 3 kHz. If we consider the entire audible spectrum that is 20 Hz to 20 kHz which is a low frequency signal. So this low frequency message signal cannot travel a long distance without any loss. This message signal is also called baseband signal. We have already discussed the classification of signals in our previous video. I will provide the link in the i button. As this baseband signal cannot travel directly over a long distance, so we have to introduce a high frequency periodic signal. With the help of this high frequency periodic signal, message can be transmitted over a long distance. This high frequency periodic signal is called carrier signal. Now with an example, try to understand this message and carrier signals. Suppose you need to travel a long distance and it is not possible to reach there by walking. So you just rent a car and reach your destination without any loss. In this example, you may be the message and the car is the carrier signal, which just carries the message to the destination. So like this example, in our communication system, high frequency carrier signal carries the message signal by superimposing the message signal into the carrier signal. Now the question is how to impose this message signal into the carrier signal. We know that any signal has three basic properties that is amplitude, frequency and phase. So the modulation is the process where one of these properties like amplitude, frequency or phase of carrier signal changes according to the message signal and based on which property is changing there are different type of modulation techniques present in communication system like amplitude modulation, frequency modulation and so on. When the modulated signal reaches to the receiver it is necessary to separate the message signal from the carrier signal. This process of recovering the message signal is called demodulation. One of the popular communication system where the process of modulation is applied is radio communication. In radio communication, people get the signal from the base station through antenna. Here we can see the voice of the radio jockey is transmitting through antenna. So a question may be asked why we have to use modulation. Okay, so considering that, now for the time being, let just assume that there is no modulation and we are transmitting this voice signal through antenna without modulation. As we know, when this message signal transmits through antenna, it is transmitted in the form of electromagnetic wave. Now the equation which represents the energy of the electromagnetic wave is E equals to F into H. It is clear from this equation that the energy of a low frequency signal also very low. So traveling across a long distance signal will become very weak and poor reception happens at the receiver. Not only that, the power radiated by an antenna can be expressed as by this equation. 
It is clear from this equation whenever we try to transmit a message signal of a longer wavelength which has low frequency then the radiated power from the antenna will be very less. To avoid this we cannot just increase the frequency of the message signal because as we know the entire audible range of frequency is 20 Hz to 20 kHz. That's why we use modulation and superimpose low frequency message signal into high frequency carrier signal. Except that other advantages of modulation is also there like reduced antenna height. For the transmission of radio signals, the antenna height must be multiple of lambda by 4. Here lambda is the wavelength and lambda equals to c by f where c is the velocity of light and f is the frequency of the signal to be transmitted. The minimum antenna height required to transmit a baseband signal of 10 kHz is calculated like this way. So the minimum antenna height equals to lambda by 4 and we know that the value of lambda is c by f. So putting this value we are having here c by 4f. So now we just put the value of c that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 and we are also putting the value of f which is 10 kilohertz here. After this calculation we will get 7500 meters. If we convert this into kilometer it will become 7.5 kilometer. The antenna of this height is practically impossible to install. Now let us consider a modulated signal where frequency is 1 megahertz. The minimum antenna height now will be 75 meter. This antenna can be easily installed practically. Thus modulation reduces the height of the antenna. Another advantage is avoiding interference. As you can see two different signals from two different base stations can interfere with each other if they has same frequency. Let's say three different voice signals which are at same frequency and they are transmitted without modulation through a single channel. Then there may be interference between them and at the receiver we will not get the transmitted signal properly. But instead of that if each signal is modulated at different carrier frequency there will be no interference and that is how interference can be reduced by the modulation. Multiplexing of the different signals also possible in modulation and this is the example of frequency division multiplexing. So these are some of the important aspects why modulation is required in the communication. So we can conclude that the baseband or message signal transmission has many limitations which can be overcome using modulation. I hope in this video you got a detailed knowledge about modulation and its need in communication system. If you have any questions related to this topic, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and share with your friends. Stay safe, stay tuned.